Prophet Samuel here. Please can I speak with King Saul immediately? Thank you. Hello, yes, King Saul. I have an important message to tell you from the Lord our God. Thus saith the Lord. I regret that I've made Saul king, because he has turned away from me and has not carried out my instructions. Yes, that's it. Simple message. Yes, you haven't carried out his instructions. Yes, yes, I know you think you have carried out the Lord's instructions, but you took on the role of priest. You didn't wait until I arrived to perform the ceremony. And that was wrong. That was wrong in the eyes of God. As you know, this job can only be done by someone from the family of Levi. Saul? Saul! Oh, he put the phone down on me. Oh. Hello, Prophet Samuel here. I really need to speak to King Saul again. What do you mean? Saul has gone to Carmel to set up a monument in its own honour? Put me through to his mobile immediately. Saul, I saw I have another message from the Lord for you. Why did you not obey the Lord? Why did you not destroy the evil before you? Why did you keep it to yourself? To obey the Lord is far better than sacrifice. To listen to him is far better than the best worship. Because you have rejected the word of the Lord. He has rejected you as king over Israel. The kingdom has been taken from you and has been given to one that's better than you. Now, now Saul, Saul I, I know you don't want to hear this, but this is the Lord's message for you. Nevertheless, <sighs> Saul, now that was rude. Saul, Saul. <sighs> Why are you mourning? I have rejected Saul as king. Come on, get up, bring your oil. I'm sending you to Jesse of Bethlehem. There you will find one of his sons to be king. Listen carefully, Samuel. You are to anoint the person that I reveal to you, for he is going to be the future king of Israel. Good morning, Jesse. Good morning, Prophet Samuel. Let me introduce my seven sons to you. Well, Jesse, surely the Lord's anointed is among these fine children. recording his latest album. Well, he is mighty handsome. Surely he is the one God has chosen to be the next king. Samuel, you are looking at the wrong things. Don't consider his height or appearance. I have rejected him. People look at the outside appearance. I look at the things on the inside. I look at the heart. Well, Jesse, what about your second son? What is his name? His name is Amdab. He works in the field of medicine. He's just been elected director chief in the World Health Organization. No, it's not this one either. Jesse, what about this chap? What's his name?
His name is Shama. He just won the Bethlehem Golf Championships for the eight year running. No, it's not this one. Well, Jesse, I've seen all seven of your sons, and despite the fact that many of them are handsome, intelligent, and strong on the outside, they are not quite what is needed for the special task the Lord has in mind. God said he was looking for someone with a heart for him. This doesn't make sense, Jesse. God sent me to your family to see your sons, but not one of these fine young people is the right one for the job. I still have one young son, the runt of the family. He is tending the sheep on the hills, but surely he is too young and not grown enough to serve the Lord. Send for him. We will not sit down until he arrives. Samuel, my father sent for me. What's your name, lad? My name is David. Rise and anoint him. This is the one. I anoint you to be king over Israel. May you be filled powerfully with his spirit. May his hand bring the blessing of Abraham through your descendants. And so David. A simple shepherd boy from Bethlehem was anointed to be king, to begin a lineage that would bring us another child of Bethlehem, who at his birth slept amongst the sheep, who had no outward beauty or earthly qualifications, who would be a shepherd to his people, one who was born to be king and filled with the Spirit. His name would be Jesus. He came to begin a family of children that would one day spread across the world. That no matter where we are, whatever our gifts or our talents, however old we are, even if we feel forgotten or left behind, we too all might be filled by the Spirit and chosen and given a purpose by God.